Hey, this is Mikey with a new update to my last tutorial, which was on vector uh, trails or shape layers. There is a comment by Alex Brodock about um, a different way of doing this using a null object. There's advantages and disadvantages to doing it this other way, and I wanted to show you because, you know, so you can learn more than one way of doing this. The disadvantages is, is you need a new null object for every single trail. And so it's not something you can create a preset for and easily duplicate. Because um, every time you duplicate the trail, it needs to have a new null object. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you go watch the last tutorial. Um, but that's beside the point. But the advantages are it's easier to set up and you can kind of do things in 3D. So let me show you how to set that up. Let's create a new null object. I have just this shape layer here. Let's parent the null to the shape layer. Now let's go into the shape layer create the right on effect. Let's go ahead and change the color of this. Something big so we can see it. Okay. Now we're going to add the expression again to the to the brush position. But before we do that, I want to make sure that the position of the null is open. So I just select it, hit P on the keyboard. Let's go into the brush position on the right on. And then let's write the expression to comp with a capital C. And in parentheses, we're going to pick whip the position of that null. Now we can take this null and put it wherever we want. And as we move this around, you can see that sticks to it. And even if we move it in 3D, it sticks to it. So that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and... Let's make a trail. Keyframe that your transforms. And you can see even when we go in 3D space, it maps it to the right spot. And what's doing that is the two comp expression. It, it converts 3D into 2D. So even though the write on effect is only a 2D effect, um, it pretends that it's in 3D. So it's not in real 3D because what we're going to see is if we turn into like a custom view um, and we move things around, you see the, the 3D layer is moving, but the right on effect isn't. So it's only mimicking 3D in this 2D space. So hopefully that helps. Again, you just write to comp and in parentheses, you select your null, um, but you're going to need to do that for every trail. So if you have multiple trails that you've put on here with the right on effect, each trail will need to have its own null object. So that's the disadvantage to it is it's a little bit more uh, layers and things like that. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, again, put them down in the comments below. And we'll see you next time.